it hits you immediately and you feel about 15 to 30 minutes of hallucinations. Drew Banta isn't talking about marijuana. He's talking about salvia divinorum. It's a hallucinogenic plant that this Northwestern University student says gives him and his friends a more intense high than pot. He was falling on the floor and just squirming around and he was completely in his own little world. The problem with salvia is that it can seem benign when it really isn't. Users have reported having out-of-body experiences, suicidal thoughts, and panic attacks. So how easy is it to buy some salvia? All it takes is a quick trip to a head shop like this in Belmont. The way that I can buy it right now is just walking into any head shop and, you know, it's not that expensive and you don't have to show ID normally, so. But uh, if it were illegal, that would probably change things. State Representative Dennis Rebelletti wants to change things. He's sponsoring a bill in the Illinois General Assembly to ban salvia in Illinois. This, this narcotic is aimed at young adults and children. And it is sold on the internet and, and, and locally as a substance that's legal and then people assume that it's not harmful to them. Rebelletti expects the governor to sign the bill into law by the end of May. The new law would give users like Banta little choice but to stop. Possession of salvia could mean up to three years in prison. Christina Postian, Northwestern News Network.